Never buy this for your garden. Here's why I don't use potting soil. Don't buy this miracle Grow shit. If you scroll the gardening side of TikTok, miracle Grow is basically Voldemort in a bag. The usual claims, it's synthetic chemical, it kills microbes, it's bad for the environment. Sounds terrifying, right? But here's the truth. Most of the ingredients in miracle Grow potting soil mix are pretty standard. Nothing exotic evil or inherently dangerous. Let's break down ingredient by ingredient exactly what you can find. I feel like I'm semi-qualified to talk about miracle Grow potting soil mix and the components within it because I do have a bachelor's of science in soil science. Yes, it's a real thing. I've been gardening since I was five years old and by gardening, I mean killing plants left, right, and center for the majority of my life. And I've worked in agriculture, yes, big egg, the bad guys, for at least a decade. So that is my perspective. That's where my miracle grow perspective is coming from. I just felt like Trump right there. Okay, or is it like that? I don't know. I don't watch enough news. If you did not know this, most reputable potting soil companies will have a breakdown of ingredients in their mixtures. The exception to this rule can be seed starting mixes. And the reason for that is because it's usually just peat and perlite. There's only two things in it. But when it comes to potting soil proper, they definitely list them usually. And this includes synthetics all the way to the organic side of things. We're gonna go through each individual ingredient. And then at the end of this video, I'm going to give you the God's honest truth about why miracle Grow is demonized and some critical thinking skills that you can use to determine if that's something that you truly believe. But number one is sphagnum peat moss. I've videos on the difference between peat moss and coconut coir. I encourage you to check those out because I'm not gonna get into those details here. But essentially the reason for this being used is because it has very good specific pH. It is great with water holding capacity and it is the industry norm for both gardeners and food production for the base of any sort of potting soil. If you want to sustainably purchase said peat potting soils. You're gonna to wanna to look for this logo here. If you see that logo, it's sustainably harvest and it's being done by some of the world leading scientists who actually work internationally to recover bogs in Europe and all over the world that have been destroyed. Perlite, volcanic rock that's been heated up and exploded. It helps with drainage and aeration. It's chemically inert. It does absolutely nothing. Number three is fertilizers, more specifically slow release fertilizers. People assume chemical or synthetic fertilizers are evil or bad. But the reality here is that they are quite literally the organic fertilizer, just more decomposed, pre-digested, if you will. They're like the mama bird for the baby bird moment. It doesn't affect your plants. It doesn't do anything nefarious. And if you overall, it does do things nefarious. It can hurt your microbes. It can burn your plant roots. It can cause issues in the environment. That also was for organic too, actually, oddly enough, because again, they are the exact same thing. Number four, <laughs> this one is a little odd and it is scary looking word. I'll put them up here on the screen. They're non-ionic surfactants, which essentially are wetting agents. So if you've ever had floating peat moss after it's become dried out, that wetting agent is actually what helps to get the water into the peat faster. And the way that this happens is that it simply reduces the surface tension on the peat itself. They are safe for humans, they're safe for microbes, they're safe for the environment, there's no issues with them, but they're in there to help you guys out. Where did all the hate come from? If those ingredients aren't bad or dangerous, and the truth of this is that the hate is mostly caused by marketing and just sheeple. There's been a rise of organic gardening and eco-friendly gardening becoming a thing. And anything that falls outside of that is demonized. But most organic soils, well, they don't say it, actually contain the exact same ingredients, including the surfactants. And they also have less homogenous mixes of nutrients. It's kind of, you're kind of at the mercy of the maker. It can be very ununiform when it comes to organic potting soil specific to the distribution of the nutrients. Is it perfect? No. Is it evil? Also, no. Would I recommend miracle Grow potting soil mix? No. There are better mixes out there. I personally like to go for a premium 
professional mix when it comes to seed starting and for bumping up. And the reason for that is because it quite literally is in a league of its own. It is what is used by greenhouses for food production or just even your ornamental plants you get from the greenhouse they're using those premium professional potting soil mixes. miracle Grow. when you open up a bag, it just, it doesn't look good. It does, it's got a mix. It's a little uneven in the different sizes. It's just not wonderful stuff. It's not nefariously bad. It's just a poor mix. And these potting soil companies know that. You are getting kind of like tea, for example. You get tea bags and you get loose leaf tea. Tea bags are basically equivalent of miracle Grow. You're kind of getting the scrap. Is it going to kill your garden microbes? Not even freaking close. It's not gonna do anything to them. Actually, quite honestly, it is less likely to kill your microbes than a lot of organic potting soil mixes out there. The reason for that is because it has a lower salt index and it has a slow release fertilizer Whereas an organic can actually have very high levels of ammonium and this can result in higher levels of salt combined with a massive influx of nutrients that can't be utilized by the plant and will be leached out into the roads and the rivers and all that sort of stuff. Geek Crew, the next time someone demonizes you for using miracle Grow and says it's evil, you need to ask them what ingredient specifically is it that is evil? And see what they have to say. They probably can't even pronounce perlite to be totally honest with you. With you. If you want more science-based myth-busting info, then hit that subscribe button, like, share, and I will talk to you guys next time.